Hello everyone, this is Kevin from 2 and Solution. Categorizing cloud snow water and clear sky is a significant input for atmospheric correction, as well as the pre-calibration process. The existence of a cloud makes it difficult to observe Earth's surface. This research team presents a classification algorithm which are all based on public, publicly available database of a manually classified Sentinel-2A image. Also, those are based on commonly used machine learning techniques such as decision tree, random forest, or support vector machine. Algorithm suggest in this study decision tree of a depth 3 to discriminate from water and the shadow, clear and surface, surface and the snow, cloud and the snow. So they apply to visible band with the band 3 and band 4, near infrared and the mid infrared or short wave infrared. It is uh, quite interesting to use band 4 is uh, let the discriminate surface from snow. One of the thermal band 10 also apply to determine clear and surface. Question. In this paper, did they apply top of atmosphere refractance or bottom of atmosphere refractance? 3, 2, 1. Answer is Sentinel 1C product provides top of atmosphere (TOA) refractance, while Sentinel 2C product with a bottom of atmosphere refractance. The latter was done with atmospheric correction. A comparison between RGB true color composite and the classification image, which shows the potential of a ready to use method with machine learning techniques. This method is well detect cloud cover across Sentinel 2 image as the arrow indicated. Next, here is another open source algorithm which originally had developed by Finnish Metallurgical Institute FMI to describe cloud detection algorithm with the AATSR product. Price temperature at 11 micro micrometer and price temperature and 3.7 micrometer and the difference difference threshold. Once it's a calculate combined with the NDSI normalized difference snow index, which is a ratio of a difference in visible and the short wave infrared or mid infrared refractance. And one of a visible band are 550 refractance also used as a threshold. Combination of a visible NDSI and the thermal band which originally developed by FMI could apply to other multi-spectral spacebone product after threshold adjustment. It is because of a describing well, the uncertainty of Earth's surface observation in FMI techni technical report, such as snow cover area and desert, or snow cover particularly in forest. This is the spec of advanced along track scanning radiometer, AATSR instrument, pixel resolution, and the radiometric accuracy and the seven spectral 
channel, 7 spectral channel. So red rectangular represent uh, the band which used the uh, FMI cloud cover detect algorithm. Next, a comparison between AATSR RGB composite image and the product with a cloud mask showing a potential of FMI cloud detection algorithm. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit like button to motivate better quality of video in the future. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Bye for now.